Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's go back over to the castle and see what awaits us there. Whoa, jump cut. That was kind of... Anyway, on the way back, a little scene will happen. Um, excuse me. It's, it's Mario, right? Look, I, um, Steve, the thing is, I've been waiting here in the hope of getting a speak with you. I have to ask you something, and you can say no, but I'm going to throw it out there. Hmm? Um, see, I was wondering, would you... Oh, please take me with you to fight Hooktail! Please, I'm begging you! And <laughs> Mario's expression of that is pretty awesome. Sorry about that. See, my dad, he went off to battle Hooktail long ago, but he never came back. Oh, I miss him, of course. I miss him badly. But this isn't just about avenging my dad. Well, no, that's not true. Revenge is a part of it. I, I guess a big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what dad started. For his sake. For everyone's sake. Whoa! I... M man, this is embarrassing. See, everyone always says I'm a crybaby. A weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail, well... I won't be those things. I'll be strong, like my dad. Hmm, I know it would be dangerous, but I still want to go. Please, Mario. Nope! What? But, but why? Why can't I go? I, I, I don't think so. Well, if that's how you feel, I'm not giving up hope, though. I promised myself I wouldn't. Um, so, I, if you change your mind, Mario, let me know, okay? I'll be over there polishing my shell. Can't have an adventure with a dull shell. And he just stays there. Alright, 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 you can come. <laughs> For real? No kidding? Yes, thank you so much. You won't regret this. Yeah, I just wanted to show the no dialogue for the fun of it. And Coops has joined the party. Woo! Tutorial. Coops' ability is a primer. Press X to shoot out a shell. Use it to retrieve distant items and hit switches. Woo! Yep, it's a Koopa kick, basically. Using the slickness of a Koopa shell belly, you can do all sorts of stuff, and it's even aerodynamic. If you hold X, you can hold a shell in one place after shooting it. After holding a shell in place, release X to fire the shell past Mario and attack. So you can hit stuff behind you, once you charge it up like that. You can even hit uh, hold Koop shell in place, move Mario, and then release the shell. This is handy in certain circumstances, but more often than not, you won't use it like that in most cases. So remember, hold X to shoot, out, shoot the shell out and hold it in one place. In battle, Koops can fight by your side, striking foes with his main move, the Shell Toss. He can also strike all groundbound enemies in one attack with his Power Shell. Yeah, he's basically a ground-based attacker. And he can do quite a bit of damage to uh, uh, enemies as well, because he can dish out uh, lots of damage to multiple enemies at once. To swap your partner in the field, press start, so let's pause, and go to the party menu. Woo! And... Okay, Mario, let's get going. Coops! Who could that be? It's... it's her! Oh, golly, um, hi, hi, Koopy, Koopy Koo. Did you overhear all that? Well, part of it, Koops. I thought I heard you say you're out to fight Cooktail, but you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a power else. He'll eat you up! He says, no faith. I know, Koopy Koo, and neither does he. <laughs> but I want to be tougher for you, so I have to do this. No, Koops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place, it's... It's stupid. So what if you're timid and sort of a cryberry baby? I don't care about all that. I just want you to be you, so don't go. Aww. Sorry, sorry, Koopy Koo. I've made up my mind. No need to worry, though. After all, I'm traveling with Mario. He's the man. Fine! Ignore me! <laughs> Stubborn Koopa! Well, that was... bipolar. <laughs> I'm sorry, Koopy Koo. I swear to you, I will come back to you a stronger Koopa. Well, Mario, that's that. I guess no turning back. Hooktail's castle awaits. Oh yeah. Um, as long as we got a, a new partner here, you can go into the menu like this, go to the party, and then switch partners like that. But here's a quicker way. 
If you see that at the bottom right corner, I mean bottom right, bottom left corner, party, gear, badges, and journal. If you press left on the D-pad, you'll go to your party, up for gear, right for badges, down for journal. So a shortcut, rather than going through the pause menu by just pressing start, you press left on there and you can swap out your partners. Is that not extremely handy? Uh oh, no, oh, poopers, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Well, I, I guess this is a good opportunity to show the power of a Koopa. Uh, maybe actually I should have dropped that uh, Goomba, you know. Yeah, oh well, it's fine. I did bad strategy there, but all worked out well. Anyway, I'm keeping Koops out. I'm not doing any cuts before I get back to the castle because I'd like to get something on my way back. Uh, this early in the game, I don't typically use my flower points all that much, so I think what I'm going to do is upgrade my badge points here from 3 to 6, so that's what I plan on doing. You can do what you please. Anyway, oh, 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 oh yeah. Gonna go back, and remember that pipe that took you to a very, very tall pipe? Yeah, right here. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Go back up here. Koops' power allows you to grab this, and this is the Happy Heart Badge. You can slowly and automatically restore HP during battle. I think I'll equip that now, I suppose, because that's a pretty nice thing to have, and as long as I'm here, um, mm, that's not a bad badge to have. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know, mm, mm. I'll put on the Chill Out Badge, because that'll prevent enemies from hitting me. Um, like automatically with an attack or something before battle, so that makes me the only one that's able to do that. At least until I switch badges. <laughs> anyway, over here, let's put this Sunstone in and evolve the... Uh, oh, that's not a Pokemon. Well, let's put this Moonstone in and evolve the... Oh, that's not a Pokemon either. <laughs> I wonder if those are Pokemon references in all honesty, because that... Sunstone, Moonstone, come on now. Ooh, what is that? Well, I'm gonna hit the switch! And it failed. Hmm, maybe there's more info here. Here beginneth the path to dread Hooktail Castle. Weaklings retreateth. You who seeketh to proceed, a power of two must hitheth both switches simultaneously. Or oh, that's hitteth, excuse me. Addendum. If ye are Pedalburg Koopa, huzzah! Your whole ability maketh this Chora snap. Well, not really. I mean, if, if you're solo critter, you're not able to do this. I mean, if you, if you just hit switches like this, you you can't do anything. You have to hit them both at once. You still need teamwork here. So, hold the shell in place, go over to the other switch, jump and release at the same time. Oh! <gasps> that stone that looks like a pipe! It's... it's... a pipe! Yeah, who would have guessed that? <laughs> and a pipe appears in the background. So, let's go down, and over to- wait, actually, what's over here? Just in case, I don't want to miss something over here, if there's something over here, you never know whether you want to hide stuff. And no, there isn't anything there. By the way, in case you didn't realize, you can't see the transition screens when you're in the background, so you can't like go from one background in one screen to another. Uh, if, anyway, I was, I was gonna go on the pipe, but that's not where I want to go. It's... here. Save your game if you please. The first dungeon of the game! Hooktail Castle! <laughs> I'm so excited! So very, very excited! Oh man, Hooktail Castle. The stories were all true. This place is terrifying. Oh jeez, I'm so excited I can't go on! So I'm gonna end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I just want to do that joke for the fun of it. Anyway, as you can tell, you can't cross the moat, but there is something that might interest you down here. So let's do a couple of... Oh my god! Coops, are you okay? Oh, okay. It's the HP plus badge. This can uh, increase your maximum HP by five. Uh, Coops! Jump! No! Oh, fine, whatever. What? How did that... What?! It was like a delay in animation. What? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. Anyway, since we can't get into the castle by normal means, oh, you can recover your health there for whatever reason. I don't know why you'd be that low on health that you'd need that block. But anyway, up here, yep, paper airplane. Ooh. Yeah, you can do it. You can control this really well if you just keep tapping left like that. And yep, yeah, now we're on the other side. So let's go in to Hooktail Castle. <gasps> oh dear. Oh, it's the deceased. Now a dry bones, well, maybe not. It's just a, a corpse. Wait a second. Oh wait, now that I have the uh, badge, I won't succumb to first strikes like what would happen if that attacked me like that. So yeah, that would have been a first strike otherwise if I didn't have the badge. And oh my god, they have an unholy assortment of death in their arsenal. Well, it's just a power block. But I mean, they've got the power, power block, they've got a mushroom, that's... oh my. <laughs> I'm gonna swap over to Goombella because they're a new enemy. So of course, that means it's tattle time! That's, that's a Koopa Paratrooper, well, um, it's basically a Koopa Trooper with wings. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 1. I kinda hate that this guy gets to fly. And she, she said the same thing about the Goomba flying counterpart. Guess she's really jealous of things with wings. Of course, you can stomp on him and he'll plunge down and be a plain Koopa Trooper. Yeah, do that and he's ours. Stomp again to flip him and his arms and legs are useless. Oops, sorry, that's not true. It looks like you can still wiggle him around a bit. <laughs> Well, maybe that was a bad thing to do because I, I I didn't get any attacks in. That should be. Yeah, I'm trying to super guard to prevent more damage. Oh, poor, poor Goombella. All right, let's strategize here and multi bounce. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Knock them all out of the sky. Yeah. Now, because I'd rather not be bombarded by them again. Let's just strategically use a power block here. Yeah, that'll flip them over. Oh! I mistimed that. <laughs> Dang background objects. Well, it kind of worked for defeating them, but anyway. I mean, defeating one of them. Maybe I'll be able to get a power block replacement for the one that I just used there. But yeah, if I wouldn't have used that, I, I risked taking quite a bit of damage there. Anyway, head bonk for the win. And you already know how to defeat, defeat regular Koopas. I already showed that earlier. And yeah. Anyway, let's move on and see what else this castle has in store for us. What is up here? I don't think this is all that important right now. Yeah, this is just just to go back. That's uh, the outside of the castle, obviously. Oh, poor Goombella, I kind of feel bad for you. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. Power bounce. You can use this to keep jumping on enemies over and over and over, though the damage output uh, decreases the more you jump on enemies to the point that it, possibly couldn't do any damage at all, but, um, oh wait, actually, maybe it always does one damage, but it, the timing window does get tighter and tighter as you go, but anyway, oh, wait, wait, what's going on here? I, I don't remember that, I mean, I don't, uh, I don't use that badge all that often, so I kind of forgot its, uh, use, so sorry about that. Oh, oh, no! These bones, they remind me of my father. There's, there's no doubt about it, it's my father. Dad. My, uh, wait, what's this? Mario, my father's clutching some kind of letter. Or at least his, uh, uh, bones are. So, what should I do? Should I read it? Yeah, let's read it. Um, okay. I can do this. Uh, I'll read it. Ahem. <sighs> I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I am stuck and can go, no f can go no further. So on this letter, I shall note Hooktail's weakness for those who follow. The dreaded the dread Hooktail cannot tolerate creatures that begin with a CR and end with Ickit. Hmm. <laughs> Hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hooktail's weakness. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find that item. One last thing, if faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinder, kinder nature and fall for its tricks. Kinder, what am I even saying? <laughs> I'm clearly misreading things today. Uh, that's going to be like a trend for this whole walkthrough, isn't it? Just me reading too fast and messing up on things. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. 
Already, mist fails my eyes. My last words to go to my son. Colorado! I love you, and I'm proud of who you've become. Huh? My son Colorado, not Coops? Uh, oh, oops. Um, yeah, I guess this isn't, isn't my father after all. <laughs> but if this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. By the way, Colorado is a... Uh, uh, character from the first Paper Mario game. So, there's a key back there. There's a red... what? Well, sort of pinkish. Hello there. Oh! It's alive! <laughs> you don't really realize as much if you come to this castle to disturb us. You really don't know further, and you from this moment on, you'll be nothing but bones! Whoa! Oh, get out of my way! Stop it! Don't stop pushing me back! Um, what are they doing? Oh, just no use, Mario. You're all over me, man. What should we do? Urgh! Stop it! I can't move! Ah! I'm gonna switch to Goombella first. Y you'll see why in a minute. Yeah! Hammer those suckers! Ah! Oh, look for the pinkish red one. Oh, it's right there. Urgh! Battle it! Mini boss time! Wow, that's a lot of. A lot of enemies. <laughs> Anyway, let's start off right off the bat with a tattle of that red bones. And whoop, looks more pinkish, but I guess it's red and pink. That's red bones, a little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know? Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 1. Unlike your average dull bones, even if you pound it to 0 HP and it crumbles, it totally might revive like a zombie. My advice is to get rid of all the dull bones, then attack the red bones. Oh, and one more thing. Once its friends start to fall, it may create some more. Uh-oh. That could be a problem. Anyway... Uh, ooh, maybe I should leave some enemies there. Oh no, I got a tattle. Oh shoot, she's in front. That I didn't really think that one through. I think... Think they have one HP each. So I could, in theory, use... Oh wait, no, I couldn't jump on them, because I think they also have defensive one, so maybe I'll just... Eh, yeah, I'll block them. Just to be safe here, I suppose. Another strategic use of the Paul block. Yeah, that'll wipe them all out. Oh, oh yeah! I don't even bother to do a super guard there. I don't know, it was just my reaction. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now I'll be able to safely tattle, but first... Uh, ooh, it's at 3... Eight. Wait, it doesn't have that much HP, does it? <laughs> um... Wait, actually, she, she mentioned the HP. I'm just being stupid here. I, I'm just trying to strategize on how I want to do this here. Sorry. <laughs> I, I guess I'll tattle with her first, just to make sure I get the tattle. And that's a dull bone. Sort of a skeleton thing. It was a Koopa Troopa once. Max HP is 1, attack is 2, and defense is 1. These cubes throw bones to attack. Oh, and they build reinforcements too. Attacks that can strike multiple dull bones at once are the most effective. Hint, hint, coops. Anyway, what's multi bounce just to set up the. Oh, I forgot about the. Uh, the defense. I'm just being so stupid right now for some reason. <laughs> It's like, I, I, I just said that I knew they had one defense, and then I decide, yeah, I, I think it's a good idea to, you know, just attack them like that. It seems, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, actually, I should probably swap with... Yeah, I'm, I'm clearly not thinking today. <laughs> and, oh. Of course, I'm low on FP. Well, Shell Toss is fine. Just for now. I can't really do anything about the red bones because I don't want it to revive and yeah. Voila. Oh, oh, I thought it was gonna hit Mario. I I pressed the button too early. Tricky, tricky there, anyway. Um mm, mm, mm. What should I wait, you know what I could do? Unless they're impervious to fire. I don't recall offhand, so let's try this. Oh, it works. <laughs> Why didn't I do that earlier? I don't know. That that battle is just a total fail on my end. <laughs> but I made it! I made it! <laughs> Alright, let's go through here, and... There's a save point, if I recall correctly. 
No, oh, no, 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 oh, there's Shine Sprite, the first of the game. There are 42 of these in the game. And, oh, no, 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 wait, maybe it's not this room that has the, um, Coops, come on. Yeah, it's not this room that has the thing, it's something else. And, uh, boop. It drops that block. And this doesn't do anything, because the, the yellow block can't move up. So what do we do about that purple block? I mean, if I hit that, that block's gonna go up, but I can't get there fast enough. Whole coops there. Go up to the block. Release. Yep. Puzzles. And go through here and infiltrate this room from the other side. Star piece. Anyway... Just want to see if that window was something per oops <laughs> something per se I need to do that again if you don't mind and go around because I need oh, I need to destroy this and then do the same thing with the yellow block oh I can't do it from that side whoopsie <laughs> so let's go up and around here it's kind of tricky to hold the button and hit the jump button at the same time it's kind of kind of awkward feeling you know, let's see what this is. Oh, can't make it. Can't make it, unfortunately. So, bloop. Oh! Now I can go up the other side. But yeah, I guess the save point wasn't in the room that I thought it was. But, oh wait, maybe it is in the, in the, uh, the next room. So I'm gonna hit that as long as I'm here, because I'm not gonna have to go back up there anyway. Ah, clearly my memory is failing me today, and I'm just so... I don't know, maybe I'm just out of it today for some reason. Alright, let's go through here. And there's the save point. Alright, because I'm so loopy today for some reason, I'm gonna end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.